Hi, and welcome to my second video on my quarter scale Sauron by Pro One Studio. I, I I wanted to do a second video on this because I wanted to do something with a little bit more in depth look at him. I got a little bit closer onto the details. I I've got quite a few images that I'd like to share with you that I took when it first arrived. Unfortunately, I didn't do an unboxing video because, to be honest with you, I didn't think I was going to start going down the YouTube route at that point but as it's turned out I have done so I've got those photographs so I'd like to be able to show them to you and talk through you what was you know putting this together and the details involved and all the little bits of information that I might not have covered on my first review so yeah let's let's crack on and have a closer look shall we and I hope you enjoy it okay here goes Okay, here goes. Now I'm trying to do this with just natural light coming in. So I've actually turned the LEDs off. So, okay, let's let's start. So starting at the base. Now, if I remember off the top of my head, the dimensions for the base are, I think, 23 inches on the actual base itself, extremity to extremity. The upper part of the base at the widest point, which is actually this piece of rock here, the highest point is there, which I believe that's nine inches from the floor. And this here from to the far end of the base. I think I'm think i trying to remember now, Guy. I think it's 28 inches. But anyway, let's have a look. So, yeah, a lot of the photographs when they first came out of this, this piece, the base looks really, really high. And it isn't. I'm trying to sort of show you. Because the line's on the floor. So that is nine inches. I'm pretty sure that's nine inches, that, that the highest point of that base. So it's it's quite deceptive. I personally would want to display this so that you're looking down on it or level with it, not up at it. So I think it, I've seen pictures of people have had of it like that, and I, I don't like how it looks because all this paintwork under here, which is all very yellow, but it does look good when you're looking down. Now, some people were on about the the lava effect on this and that they didn't like it. Well, you know, each to their own. Personally, I think it's absolutely fine. There's no issue for me with that. But again, that's 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 individuals. So, okay, moving up now. This base really has some incredible details. I'm going to put some images over because I don't really want to be yanking some of these pieces out. I mean, the skulls and everything are incredible. You've then got that Gondorian armor chest piece there. The swords are, at, are are absolutely fantastic. There's there's one there, and then there's one which you can see just there at the back. And the details on them are, are incredible. Like I say, I'll put an image on so you can see better. The swords are actually metal, and they've been weathered superbly. I mean, absolutely superb weathering on them. Look at that. That is absolutely brilliant, I think. I mean, it has the pommel detail and everything. They've done a really belting job with them. And then at the back there, you can see there's the elven helmet and shield and more skulls. And then the other sword, which is actually sticks into the ground. So the detail on this base is, is incredible. It really is incredible. Uh, the only critique I had of the base was the fact that the actual rock work itself is... Not entirely, but it's fairly universally been painted one colour, I suppose. Volcanic rock kind of is one colour, but I'd like to have seen maybe a little bit more detailing on the paintwork on the rock itself, I think. Because they've gone to so much effort on everything else. I mean, they really, really have. It, it, it's, it's superb. So, moving up we get to the one area that I really was a bit of an issue. That plate you're looking at there, that crotch piece, I suppose, the chainmail hangs off that. Now, I don't know if this is coming out, but that chainmail is double-breasted, exactly as it is on the film. Exactly as it is on the film. The front chainmail was two layers, and uh, they picked up on that, and they got it spot on. Again... Some of these comments, people are saying that this isn't accurate to the film. Well, I want someone that's got this statue in front of them, that they own this piece, to come and tell me that because I've got this piece and 
I've watched the film back, I've, I've paused it and I've looked and I've compared. And whereas there are minor areas, I suppose you could argue where it's not bang on. But for me, this is 95% there all day long. So those people that are commenting that it's not accurate, show, tell me, tell me where it is because I can't see it. I've got this piece smack bang here in front of me and I can't see it. But anyway, yeah, going on to this piece, which I did cover on my review, which I don't want to go too far in, but I know a couple of other people who've got this piece have been in touch with me and said that they've had very similar issues. That, that chain mail connects onto three hooks onto the back of that crotch piece. That crotch piece is actually plastic. <clears throat> and that then slots, excuse me, that then slots up inside and there's a, there's a magnet and a, and a slot that that goes in. Now, I put that in without the chain mail on just to check how strong the magnet is and it's it's relatively strong the problem is it's that chain mail is heavy guys it really is heavy so in the end i managed to get mine sort of wedged in and it's touch wood it's been okay since i've put it in it hasn't it has fell out once but it hasn't fallen out since <clears throat> excuse me and you think you can just make out there in the background there there's chain mail at the back as well I actually had more trouble with that piece than I did the front one. It's the same issue again, very small hooks on the back and basically an inadequate magnet to, to hold them. In all fairness to uh, Prime 1, I suppose the alternative here, guys, was to not use real metal and to use something else and it wouldn't have looked as good. It wouldn't have looked anywhere near as good. So the trade-off with having the realistic chain mail is it's, it's heavy and you've got to sort of fiddle with that piece a bit to get it in. And once you've got this piece set up, I wouldn't be wanting to move it around too much because it's only a matter of time if that piece keeps falling out that you're going to break the hooks off it or you're going to damage the chain mail or something. So that for me was the only flaw with the statue itself. Otherwise, I had, it went together very easily and I had no complaints. So I'll just give you a quick scan of the the leg armor i mean the detail is just it's just superb i mean it's absolutely superb moving up now onto the the chest area now i have to admit in one part of the film he does look a lot broader than this but then later on in the well say later the, shortly after that when he's on the fighting amongst the uh, the elves and the the men of Gondor and all that. He um, he he doesn't look as broad at all. It's just in that one scene in Mount Doom. I must admit, he does look very broad. And without the cape on, guys, he does look quite slim. I'll I'll be honest. But uh, yeah, you, the cape is a bit of a mare to be honest with you because it's I think it's three maybe four legs and it's huge. So I literally just got it on and I spent ages playing with it, guys. In the end, I just left it it hanging hanging loose as it is but yeah i mean can you see is that i hope that's picking out the detail on that i mean it's exquisite it's absolutely exquisite and then you've got the mace which is huge i'll put my hand next to it so you can see and i haven't got small hands it's absolutely massive it's actually plastic this is this 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 part here this head part is plastic that's and that i think that is as well Thing that is which i think they've done solely to keep the weight of that down because of the angle that it's at could have caused issue with the hand falling off so i totally get why they've done it so again the detail on the on the arm is absolutely fantastic i'm hoping that the the colors aren't too sort of exaggerated because of the light on the cameras come on and obviously then we have the hand with the with the ring on it which again is absolutely superb and then the face itself i mean this for me is the best piece i've ever owned i'm so impressed with it and i uh yeah, I, I, anyone that's thinking about getting this, guys, I, I highly recommend. I highly recommend you get it. You won't regret it. He, he's absolutely superb. I'll just try and get a side view there. Again, all the 
upper parts of the armour all connecting them shoulder parts. The neck piece is separate, the head separate. All that slots together really easily, no issues at all with it. And uh, yeah, I got the the extra, so with that you get the 1-1 one, one scale Sauron finger with the ring on it. The ring actually comes off, so you can just display the ring if you want. Which I think is a really good idea. I mean, that's, that to me is a fantastic idea for something extra, you know, as opposed to having sometimes swap outs that we, we don't want or need or are ever going to use. Now, the one that springs to mind for me is the Legolas piece by Prime One that's coming out. Now, I've not ordered the X on that. I've ordered the regular because that that extra piece with the where he's holding the three arrows i mean as soon as i saw that guys i just thought of robin hood and men in tights do you remember the cover for that film and that's all i could see i mean he didn't do that in the film it, it looked daft now for me i wish they'd done something more along the lines of what they did with this guy and maybe give us a one-to-one -one scale lego last arrow on like a little wooden mount i mean how cool would that have been It'd certainly be something interesting for statue companies to maybe address in the future doing putting something different in as opposed to multiple portraits and and different arms and different things like that you know something like another little separate display i think that is a, a much better idea you know when when it's it, it suits the piece that you're getting to to have that but i don't know what do you think anyway so I didn't want this to be too long a video because I've already done a review on him. So I just wanted to get a little bit closer in and to be able to share some of the images I took when I got it. And yeah, apart from, I said that my only critiques with this is they could have done just a, a little bit of something more with that, that grey rock surface. And obviously the front and rear pieces where the chainmail attaches is fiddly to say the least and you've really got to be a little bit careful what you're doing but otherwise for me it's a flawless statue it is absolutely superb and i hope this hasn't been too wobbly for you and i'm going to shut up now because i've waffled on long enough and I'll catch you all on my next video, which will be probably coming out much later in the week, maybe towards next weekend. Uh, everyone that hasn't, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, comment. It all helps, guys, and I really massively appreciate it. And I am literally going to sneeze in a second, so I'm going to go. Oh, God, my nose is going to drive me crazy. Uh, take care, everyone, and I'll catch you all on the next video. Ta-da!